<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. But this, I, I wrote a piece about in, in National Review about this. You know, you, you say that the level of hatred directed toward Trump is warping Trump. I think that it's also warping some people on my side of the aisle who are who are so, you know, interested in the fight that they're less interested in advancing the policies that I'd like to see achieved. So right. I think there's a whole group of people where let's say that Trump would just resign tomorrow. He'd say, you know what, I've had it. Screw it. I'm out. And Mike Pence becomes president. And then Mike Pence proceeds to do all the things conservatives want him to do. You know, we get tax reform and we limit immigration and we do, we do all of these things. But, but he does not tweet about Mika Brzezinski's bloody face. I think there's a, a whole group of people on the right who'd be pissed. They'd miss it. I think that, right. I think Especially they, now because it's fun. What, exactly. What they want is somebody who pisses off the left more than beats the left. Right. Pisses them off. If you piss off the left, I think Obama sort of trolled some of the right into insanity. I think there are a lot of people on our side where it's like, this jerk. He just he keeps saying things just to piss us off. And Obama did do some of that. And so tr- Trump is kind of a Twitter troll. And so he, he does the same thing. We're like, yeah, that's awesome. Like two days ago, Trump uh, or yesterday, there was a report that Trump said that he thinks the White House is shabby. Now, I can say as somebody on the conservative right my entire life, if Obama said that, we would not let him forget that for 1000 years, oh, that yeah, the White House sure. is shabby. I mean, it's like it's an ass move to say that the, the people's house is sh- first of all, it's a mansion. Right? right. Like, And second of all, this is the most iconic building on the face of the planet. Yeah. And, oh, it's shabby. How and is it shabby? What was he saying it was shabby? He, he, he said, he was, they were asking him why he visits his, visits his golf courses so much. And he said, oh, because, the, because, the, because my golf courses are nicer because the White House is shabby. And, and, but there are people on the right who are like, fine, it's funny. Like, you know, at least he's trolling the left. At least it's ticking them off. And say, guys, ticking off the left is not a substitute for defeating the left if you actually care about defeating the left. Like, this is one of the things that drives me nuts because my, you know, one, my life goal has been to promulgate particular ideas, not just to piss off the left. But I think that in the fight, there are a lot of people who have fallen into the trap of thinking these two things are identical, right? You piss off the left, that means you're winning. It's like, no, pissing off the left may be part of it, but that's not how you win. You win by saying things that are true, and if they get pissed, they get pissed. Well, my good friend Bill Byrd did this piece about Obama back when Obama was mocking Trump and saying the one thing that I am that you'll never be is the president of the United States. The crowd went nuts. Yeah. You remember when he did yeah, that? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. And Obama was saying this on stage, and you see Trump in the audience boiling with his you know, big frog double chin, just sitting there eating it all, and that fucking stuck in his craw. There's, there's a whole story that came out from BuzzFeed about his interaction with a guy named McKay Coppins, a reporter for BuzzFeed, in which McKay was basically like saying to Trump, like, you're a joke, you're not going to run. I, I think Trump ran just to, just because he was sick of people telling him that he wasn't going to be president. <laughs> like, I really think that's that's half of what drives him. That doesn't mean that he can't do good things. I hope he does do good things. He's the president. I want every president to do things I like. But, you know, he's going to have to get it under control. 